Hey man, what's up? Oh sweet, no way. How do you like them? I told you Crocs are so awesome. Yeah, I told you, they are so comfortable. Trust me, the more you wear them, the more you are gonna love them. Yeah man, I wear mine all the time. Like, Did I ever tell you about that, uh, the rear view camera that I installed on the truck? Oh man, it's sweet. Yeah, just like you pop it in reverse and you can just see anything behind you. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, so I, I wear them all the time. Seriously, I, I would wear Crocs any chance I got. Oh, weren't you asking me the other day about the bed liner I did in the truck? Oh man, it's pretty sweet. I think I, I would recommend you do it. I think it was totally worth it. What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode here on Decent Garage. So, as you could tell from that intro, I've been having a lot of people asking for some of the updates on some of the products I've used on the first gen crew cab that we got out here. So today, what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna be giving you my honest review of five different products that I've used on the channel so far. Only some of the OG subscribers will remember some of them, but I'm gonna link all these products in the description below and I'll also link the video about that product next to the item link as well. So if you wanna watch that video, you can go watch that. A couple housekeeping items before we get into that. Let's walk into the garage real quick. All right, first things first. I went to that truck show a couple weeks ago and uh, I had some of these uh, vinyl stickers made. Um, I've got tons of them and what I want to do is give a couple away to you guys and I'll probably give some away every video. But what I'm going to do is everyone who comments below, I'm going to do a random number generator and choose five of you to win one of these stickers. I will ship it to you on my dime. Everyone who comments below will be entered. I'll randomly choose five people and then we'll connect and I'll ship one out to you so you can have one. And like I said, every video, maybe every couple videos we'll be doing this because I've got a lot of them. Second thing, I put out a video a week ago or so on the popping in the front end of the truck. I have not gotten around to really digging into diagnosing it, but I cannot thank you guys enough on the comments and the ideas that you guys brought up. That video was huge. I think it had over 80 comments. I read every single one. I'm gonna film a video this weekend or next week following up on that, and we're gonna do kind of a fun way to follow up on it. So make sure if you're not subscribed, subscribe below so you don't miss that video. But without further ado, let's check out five products that I've used on the crew cab, and I'm gonna give you my honest review. If you have any comments or questions about them that I don't touch on, make sure to comment below as well so I can at least give you that information in the comments. At the end of the video, make sure you stay tuned because I'm going to give an honorable mention for another product that I really like that I would highly endorse as well. So stay tuned till the end of the video. All right, for the first product, we're going to pop the hood. All right, the first product under here on the driver's side fender is this Blue Seas Safety Hub that I use to delete the fusible links. I have not had any issues with uh, the fusible links or anything electrical since I did that video. Again, I'll link that video below and I'll also make it pop up on the screen right now. Uh, to me, this was totally worth it. It's a little pricey. Um, to buy the little hub, but in the end to not worry about having to have an electrical fire from the fusible links or anything along that line It was totally worth it. I have no complaints about this product um, I've seen other people do the fusible link Delete with different products and it works fine. I think this product is the way to do it the cleanest though uh, You just can't beat the the waterproof cover. It's got over the fuses um, you can use you can use just regular fuses here. I've got it grounded straight from here um, It's just a very very nice System, so that's product number one I'm gonna give you my out of five stars. I would say that product gets five stars for sure Okay, so check out that product if you have electrical issues, which most first gens do uh, And you're looking at 
deleting your fusible links, check out this product and check out my video, two part series video on how to do that. So that's product number one. Product number two is not on this truck actually. Um, I, I showed pictures of this in the video of building my truck, but it's actually a center console that you set on the bench seat of any of these first gens. And I actually had one sitting around. You guys know I've swapped my interior out to be a little more comfortable than the bench seats. There we go. But when I had the bench seat, I had a center console sitting on the seat here. And it was super comfortable, super convenient. It had two cup holders in it. It had the flip up thing that you could store stuff in it. It, it was held down by the center seat, seat belt. So it was totally worth it. It was around $50 on Amazon. And if you own a first gen, you know that cup holders are scarce. So I, I highly recommend this product. I gave one away on the channel when I only had about 200 subscribers or so. Um, so totally a, a good product out of five stars. Another one, five stars from me on that. Um, one, because it's easily accessible on Amazon and two because the cost and and the quality was really good too i used it for a couple of years and it didn't wear any holes in the top of it it just did really really well so go check that product out if you need a cup holder or some type of armrest on your bench seat in your first gen all right so the third product that i've put on this truck that i i'm going to tell you it's five stars already um let's hop in the truck and i'll show you Here's the product right here. Looks like just a normal rear view mirror. We're gonna turn the truck on. Now this is not just a rear view mirror. This is actually a backup camera as well. So watch the screen right here. Okay, and then we put it in reverse. So I have been super impressed with this backup camera. Let me show you where I mounted it. And it comes like this in a kit, just mounted to the license plate. Um, I have loved this thing. Uh, one, backing up out of the driveway, I have a ton of kids in the neighborhood and it just makes, it kind of puts me at ease backing up out of the driveway. I can see anything and everything behind me. Another thing I recently discovered is loading trailers. Uh, when you've got the ball on there, uh, you just you put it in reverse and you can see where the ball is exactly and you back right up to the hitch uh, It works amazing. The install on this camera was super easy again I've got a video on how I installed it. Um, so check that video out. I think this was hundred and forty dollars well well worth it um, a lot of backup cameras you have to run a double din radio and I didn't want to have to do that I like the single din. I like the stock look so this was a great option to run it in the rear view mirror. So make sure you check this product out. If you want to kind of modernize your first gen a little bit, make it a little more convenient to back up and to load trailers, this is a great product. So that product, five out of five stars for sure, without a doubt. Um, and you may think I'm biased on some of these reviews, but honestly, um, almost all of these products I am 100% satisfied with. Uh, from a quality standpoint, a cost standpoint, an ease of install standpoint, just very good products that I've that I've used. And I've tried other stuff too. So let's head to the fourth product. So this was a video I did really early on in the channel. These headlights right here. There we go. So these are LED headlights. Probably the most common question I see asked on Facebook is what headlights to run on a first gen. There's tons of options out there. Probably the best option you can do for a headlight are truck light LEDs. Um, but the thing is they cost about 250, 300 bucks per headlight. These were 80 bucks for the pair. Um, they were off of Amazon, so they were here in two days with free shipping. I've seen a lot of people run cheap LED headlights from Amazon. I've driven a lot of different first gens with those in them and they haven't been good. These headlights are really, really good. I've done a lot of night driving. As you guys know, I drove up to Washington and back about a month ago. 
A lot of it was at night and these headlights performed excellent. So I would highly recommend these headlights. One of the things I love about this headlight is it's got a perfect cutoff with the low beams on. So you're not blinding people with the low beams on. Cheap LEDs have that issue where they don't have a good cutoff and you blare your lights at people. These have a great cutoff. So check these out if you're looking for good headlights for your first gen. So my rating on those headlights would be five out of five stars for sure. All right, the last product, and this is probably the product I get asked about the most, is the Raptor Liner bed liner in the bed, okay? So on purpose, I did not wash the bed out. I wanted you guys to see how the bed looks with daily use, okay? So this bed liner, I have been very, very satisfied with it. It's durable. The color has held up well so far. I put this in at the end of May, I believe, beginning of June. So about two months ago or so, two and a half months. And it's held up really well. I have had a couple things with it that haven't been great and I'll show you those. So first of all, durability wise, you can see right here, a little bit of scrape scraped right through it to the metal we've got another ding right here another ding right here went straight through through the metal and then you guys know i've been doing a lot of dirt biking lately so on here on the lip of the tailgate where i put the ramp up to load the dirt bike uh there's a couple and it's so right here is one. I don't know if you can see it because what I've done actually, yeah, there's one there, one there, one there, one there. So there's a couple little chips in the bed liner on the lip of the tailgate. Um, not a huge issue, um, but what I did was got a Sharpie and just went and colored them because you could see the actual silver metal through that. So I colored it black with a Sharpie again. You can't see it anymore. But durability wise, I would expect a little bit more from that. Um, I actually reached out to you poll with those concerns and haven't heard anything back. And I reached out over a month ago. So again, durability and maybe customer service slightly lacking, but all things said and done the cost 125 bucks. I feel like despite that, it's holding up really well. They do sell aerosol cans that you can touch up some of the spots. So I may get one of them in my email to them. I asked them if they would like to send me one to review uh, as part of this product review, but they never wrote back. So anyways, um, that brings me, you know, we've talked about uh, putting some bed liner on the underside and inside of the tub on the Jeep. Um, I'm debating whether I'm going to use this product because of the lack of customer service. There's another product I've heard of called Armadillo uh, that I may try on the Jeep just to try a different product and get a different perspective. Um, overall though, I'm satisfied with this bed liner. It looks faded, but I think that's actually more just dirt. It rained last night, so there was sitting water in here and then it's really hot. It's almost 100 degrees today, so that evaporated and so it just looks really dirty. but. I would say the coloring of it has held up really well. I wouldn't say it's really faded at all. It's just that uh, dirt from the water drying out of it from the rain last night. So overall, I'm gonna give that four out of five stars just because the slight lack in the durability and the little bit lacking on customer service. So if you know anyone at Upol, tag them in the comments of this video. I know I don't have a huge channel, but I would hope they would be willing to help out the any customer, no matter what their notoriety is. Um, I just want the product to be good. I know they make a good product, but um, I would love them to stand behind it. So, all right, that's the five products that I wanted to review that I've used on my personal truck that I've done videos on, on my channel. I hope you guys like that. I told you I was gonna give you one bonus item. You guys should already know what this is. Work boots. You guys should all be wearing Crocs. No questions asked. Five out of five stars for sure. There's just nothing to replace it. They are the most comfortable shoes that you could wear. I wear them around the garage, around the shop. I wear them all the time. So get yourself a pair of Crocs. Join the Decent Garage Nation. These are the official work boots of the Decent Garage. So comment below. Remember, anyone who comments below will be entered to win one of my stickers for the Decent Garage channel. 
I'll do a random drawing. Let me know if you've used any of these products, what has your experience been? I'd love to hear those that have used the Raptor liner, what your experience has been as well. So I look forward to hearing from you guys, interacting with you guys on the comments. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure if you're new here, subscribe. If you like this video, hit that like button and we will see you guys in the next video.